Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with Chief Meteorologist Sam Parrish. Welcome back, everyone. Well, we had another round of thunderstorms earlier this afternoon, helping cool things off a little bit. But right now, in the capital region, nothing really going on. Scattered showers and storms way up to the north and east in eastern parts of Mississippi. But that is now moving away from us. Let's take a look at the rainfall amounts over the last 24 hours. Quite impressive up to the north, a little over an inch and a fourth there in Liberty, around seven tenths in Slaughter. Not so much in Hammond, around a hundredth, 85 hundredths there in Kentwood, and around half an inch over gross tip. Power outages are still there, especially to the east in Tangipahoa Parish was the, around a, th a thousand customers there and about the same there in Macomb. But we are seeing some improvement as far as that go. Looking out to the north and west, you can see lots of wasps around our tower cam. You can also see some sunshine back to the north and west. Temperatures are in the 80s, 82 at the airport right now, south wind at 8. Dew point is 75, so it feels like 90 out there. A little bit muggy and sticky, 79% on our humidity. Temperatures are not that bad considering the time of year. 75 right now in Woodville, 78 new roads, 77 in Gross Tet. Meanwhile, still pretty toasty down in Laplace where they're currently sitting at 90 degrees this afternoon. Water vapor loop shows the complex of storms that was over yesterday rapidly moving off to the south and east and starting to fall apart a little bit. We do have a storm system way off to the west coast, but that's not going to impact us over the next few days. Instead, we're going to see this high pressure building in from the west as we go through the next couple of days. In fact, it's going to come right over on top of us as we go into the weekend. That means basically 0% rain chances, but also it also means that temperatures are going to start to increase across the area in the 90s. And then once that moves by, we'll have another wave start to move in from the north and west as we go into Monday and Tuesday, and that's when the rain chances start to come back into our forecast. But in the meantime, it's going to be pretty warm out there. Looking at the future track, here comes a front from the north and west. Going to stall out and basically hang out for the next couple of days. But high pressure will build in as we go into the weekend. And again, that's going to increase our temperatures, but also decreasing our rain chances. Then another storm system organizing over the plains on Saturday. And then finally, that front will start to make its way into our area as we go into Monday and Tuesday. But in the meantime, all the rain will start to move off towards the east this evening with temperatures in the mid 70s. And by morning, we'll be around 74. And then tomorrow afternoon, partly cloudy skies, northwesterly winds bringing in some drier air, 92 for your afternoon high. Some places could stay in the 80s. Then on Friday morning, lows in the 70s, 60s up to the north. And then Friday afternoon, partly cloudy skies, light and variable winds, and a high of around 94. How about the next seven days? Well, we're going to have a pretty warm weekend across the area with temperatures in the mid-90s. And unfortunately, the humidity is going to be coming back a little bit as well. And then another chance of rain on Monday morning with a high of only 86. What? So we'll, <laughs> yeah, I said that right, 86. And then 89 on Tuesday, and then 90 on Wednesday. 